looking, everybody. Barry Hyatt here in Scottsville at the UK Extension Office with my good friend Janet Johnson, who's going to be combining two of our fall favorites, aren't you? I sure am, Barry. What's better than apples and pumpkins I'm this time you. of year? Yeah. And we've got lots of opportunities to use a pumpkin fresh. Mm -hmm. If you are looking at your farmer's market or your roadside markets, mm -hmm. those pumpkins are more than decorative. We yes. can use those in a recipe today. But when in a pinch, one can also use a 15 ounce can of canned pumpkin. So good deal. It's uh, an easy way to do it. Have the fresh pumpkin, which is better. I can testify to that. <laughs> or when speed is something you need, you can pick it up off the shelf and it's okay. Sure. So today we have done this recipe for our fans before mm -hmm. and it is a fan favorite throughout the state of Kentucky and I hope Tennessee as well. I'm sure. For sure. This is a big orange recipe for <laughs> sure. And so one can make this recipe extremely versatile. And I have a selection of pans over here, Barry, mm -hmm. that you have. You know, it's called a pumpkin apple muffin, which we normally Normally think of a little muffin tin mm -hmm. like this, but Bigger you can also, mm -hmm. you can make the mini muffins and that cooks faster mm -hmm. when in a pinch. Sure. You do have to, you know, do a little more labor to get the sure. batter in, but that's okay. But when in a pinch, you can make the entire recipe in little mini loaf pans or a regular loaf pan and you can freeze these for mm -hmm. later. Great. And that's Good the idea. great thing about the texture of the pumpkin apple muffin. It freezes so great, Barry, that mm -hmm. it's something that you can do ahead of time and have ready for next month's holidays. Sure, sure. You could have it for Halloween upcoming. Yes. And uh, do some things for that or any type of holidays. So let's get at it. It's really no, basic. And we'll talk about some of the variations. Okay. So we've talked about pumpkin and how to use fresh pumpkin or mm -hmm. that and I think we've even demonstrated how to cook one we before. certainly have so yes. we won't dwell on that but the apples that you choose are important because baking apples of course are great because they retain their texture mm -hmm. more so than some of the other apples that may cook down more so variety right. is key so that's why with the recipe you will see the granny smith which is an old traditional baking apple yes and it's very hard to beat very hard to beat in this recipe so when you buy the little bag granny smith apples mm -hmm. know that when we're talking about two cups of chopped apples mm -hmm. this little guy right here will make about a half a cup Okay. So, depending on size and what you have, so four of the what we call medium or small apples, okay. or you can use the larger ones and maybe get by with two, maybe, sure, for sure. that. So there you go. So you can do those ahead of time, of course. Now apples do brown once that oxygen begins to hit their surface. Yes. So uh, in baking, that's not as much of a problem, but nevertheless, if you want to do these ahead of time, mm -hmm. instead of just at the last minute, then you can always use ascorbic acid to actually cover those. Right and that keeps them from browning and I think they do a great job. I, I mean, agree. This has been setting out for a good 45 minutes here in the studios yeah. and so it does work great so mm -hmm. keep that on hand. Most a certainly. lot of people think about this during canning and food preservation sure. season but mm -hmm. it's great year round especially yes. for this. So what we've done is we have two different, we have dry ingredients and we have moist ingredients gotcha. and that's kind of the quick bread way where you combine all of your dry ingredients together. Mm -hmm. So what I've done, Barry, with this recipe though, and we do want to point out, the texture of this recipe is very moist and it has a different texture because we are half and halving the flour from mm -hmm. plain all-purpose flour, yes. substituting one half of whole wheat flour and it has a very nutty, okay. uh, d denser texture. So that does give the muffin a little bit more okay. fiber and sure. a different texture too. So just know that you can half and half in Most a quick certainly. bread, but you will have a much more dense muffin, but we'll show that in a okay, moment. Okay, good deal. So what we've done is we've put baking soda, we've added some salt, the leavening ingredients, of course, to these mm -hmm. flours, and yeah. we've done spices. Now, the recipe will give you a combination of cinnamon and nutmeg, and it will also call for ginger, okay. about a four to a half a teaspoon. I tend to leave the ginger out and just increase the nutmeg. Okay. So what would you do? It depends on your, taste, your taste as far as the spices. So I tend to cut back and you know if I don't have one on hand, cinnamon is a must. <laughs> cinnamon is definitely a must. Shocker, shocker. Yes, it is. <laughs> but you can substitute and rearrange your spices. Right. So I'll let you just kind of combine sure. those. All you do is just mix those until they're blended. Okay, and deal. I'll talk a little bit about the moist ingredients here as we get started. We'll let you pull sure. that around. So all Barry's gonna do is just mix up all those dry ingredients. And meanwhile, I have added what we uh, call the moist ingredients. And in this recipe, we're talking about the pumpkin and uh, we're looking at about one and a half cups, and that is if you really take a 15 ounce can and you measure it in a measuring cup, 
it's almost all the can. So okay. I just usually add the can. Sure. Okay? Why not? Why not? Yes, it will increase your amounts, uh, but not significantly enough to matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So there you go. So I take that can. If you were using the fresh, you could measure very exact mm -hmm. then, of course. And I add a half a cup of oil, canola oil in this recipe, okay. or your favorite oil. Okay. And then you want to add two eggs and the sugar ingredient. In this recipe, I'm using one and a fourth cups of honey. So this is an opportunity for you to add extra flavor, extra moisture, and local honeys are mm -hmm. wonderful, and you sure. can add different flavors of local honey. If you feel that that honey might be a little more expensive than mm -hmm. you want, then you can substitute two cups of sugar. Okay. But as we have preheated this oven at 325, you would want, if you're using sugar, mm -hmm. to up that to 350. Okay. So we have lowered the temperature so that the muffins do not overcook okay. because, again, of the density with what we're doing. And, but you can substitute sugar. Just know that the temperature needs to go up and you would decrease your baking soda by a fourth of a teaspoon. Now that'll all be on the website that Barry's sure. gonna fix up. Sure. So you don't have to write that down or remember it. It'll all be there as the little footnote. Most certainly. That I guess you the honey do. would just be a little healthier option as opposed to sugar possibly? Uh, poss possibly, yes. Um, it depends kind of on who we talk to, I guess, about that. <laughs> it is a different alternative sweetener that one can use, but just know that carbohydrate-wise and mm -hmm. calorie-wise, sugar is sugar is sugar. Right, you know. certainly. Yes, so if that's what you're watching. So you have combined the dry ingredients, I've combined the moist ingredients, and we're just gonna add those, and I'll let you just begin to stir, Barry. Okay, sure. And, and I'll get these out, and all we're doing is just stirring this quick bread until these ingredients are moistened and combined. You know, you don't want to overcook any quick bread, whether it's right. a biscuit or a muffin or mm -hmm. anything. It tends to make tunnels or holes okay. when you overcook. And all we really want to do is make sure everything is moistened. So the less we actually handle the flour, the mm -hmm. better there okay. too. Now, you can tell how this is thickening up too, Janet. Oh, absolutely. I'll set this down and we'll get that ready. And all, see, all Barry's doing is just simply stirring and kind of folding that together and moistening those ingredients. Now we go back to the apples. We're holding those for the very last thing. Once we have these moistened. Yeah, I'm still doing folding. Great. Well, you're doing okay. <laughs> it, takes, it takes a little while to get all those dry ingredients yeah, that's together exactly right. there. But it's really, but, it smells great too. I mean, that's one thing that mm -hmm. I always like about these segments. I mean, every time you make something, you can just tell the how nice it's gonna probably taste because it smells so good. And that's usually an indicator. When mm -hmm. you're actually working with a recipe, you learn by experience of actually yes. reading and kind of getting a feel as you read a recipe what it may taste like. Yeah, and I think we're pretty good now. I think we're pretty good too. So we're just gonna fold the apples in. So okay. I'll take the spatula sure. from you and just kind of grab these apples. And remember, we're talking about approximately two cups of okay. apples, and that might vary. Folding is just barely mixing, as right. we've done before, and just kind of putting those in there so that they are mixed well together. Sure. And they will stay suspended. In some mixtures, you don't find that. You find fruit okay. that might settle at the bottom, but that's mm -hmm. not the case with this recipe. So now, as we've said, we've talked about the multiple ways that one could actually uh, do this recipe, and you'll see in a moment shots of how we've done this same recipe right mm -hmm. here. This makes a lot of muffins. So you've made mini muffins, regular size muffins. Yes, and we a have. Bread, um, and a cans mini, as well. mini loaf bread, or mm -hmm. you could even use a larger one larger if you one. wanted. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is simply spraying, and I'll show you the mini muffins. Just so these muffins slip out, we're just coating, and then what we're going to be doing is simply adding until those little tins right there are almost two-thirds to three-fourths full. Okay. And we'll do that. So we can take a break, Barry, and we'll finish up in the kitchen, then we'll come and we'll show guys the finished product okay. that great. we're baking at 325. Okay, stay with us. We'll be right back. And we are back, and it looks like we have some pretty good-looking stuff to eat here, doesn't it, Jan? We are ready to put these guys in the oven, and remember, the cooking time on the recipe may say about 20, 25 minutes. 
you really need to check at about halfway point, like 10 to 15 minutes okay. when you do the mini muffins because they're going to cook much quicker. Much so quicker. Okay. I'll put these in the 325 oven and we will let those get started cooking and voila, we have some completed here that you can see that these make uh, really, really beautiful muffins. Mm -hmm. They are very moist, they're very dense, and you can serve them in lots of ways. It, most certainly, I mean, if, yes. if you want it a certain way, whether it's the mini muffins or the yes. larger muffins or just in the loaf, Absolutely. you have options is what Jan's trying to say. You certainly do, <laughs> yes, it's a great recipe. And if you want the recipe, oh so easy to get, you can get it in a couple of ways. You can email me at North Central. My email address there is barry.hyatt at nctc.com or you can go to our website. It's www.nctc.com. We'll have the video there and the recipe as well. Mm -hmm. Janet, you also have another way. Right. If you just want to pull up the recipe on your mobile phone or any way that you'd like, you just simply search Plate it up, Kentucky Proud Recipes. Keep scrolling down if you're on your mobile phone and you will get to specific recipes where you can ask for something for the apples or pumpkin and there's a lot of recipes including this one. Probably, especially this month, I would think. Absolutely, <laughs> definitely. Well, Janet, thanks so much for all your time Thank today. you, Barry. Good yes, to see good you to again. be here. And good to see you guys again. Thanks so much for joining us. Take care and have a great rest of your day.